This is Callie. Late last night, I don't know, 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock, something like that. She's not allowed in the bathroom. <laughs> I reversed this little clip. I had to turn the sound mute because it sounded like I was talking in some kind of a different language or something. You ready? Mom's girl. You're such a good girl. What a good girl you are. You ready? Okay, you're going to have a little mug up. Have your mug up before I take the dishes away. Good night, friends. July 16th. I'm going down the hill to the driveway down here and getting the compost. I think it's been down here for a week. I know, I kept forgetting it. I didn't come outdoors, so. <laughs> <laughs> muddy here because we had some rain. There it is. Motorcycle. one hand or if I have to drag it. Not drag, but yeah, I'm going to have to pull it. Pull it behind me. <laughs> Should have brought my little uh, tripod. I got all my Daisy Dukes. <sighs> Still there? <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh. Trying to get it in the shade a little bit. And so the uh, cover stays up by the tree, which it didn't, it fell down. So put it back a couple more inches yeah that'll work oh it's hot over here yeah it's hot all the smells over here gets me so fast i smell grass i don't know if they mowed up in that cemetery again or not grass smells smells pretty fresh Here's the garden, Tiny Tim's. This is my Swiss chard. Growing pretty good. We got more tomatoes over here. This one's a beefsteak. That one over there is tiny red ones. These ones tiny red. These are bright lights. Okay, I gotta go in. I can't stand the heat. I get heat exhaustion so fast. Oh. Yeah, our friend is going to saw some wood up while Richard's at work. He might want to take that load down before we go to town. I don't know. Oh, there's a blanket out here. There's my juicer over there. I'll sell that once I get my new machine it's uh, it's finally on the move it's in Montreal Montreal uh, yesterday so yeah now he's working late so it's come quite far then it just didn't tell me every time it went through because it was in Calgary Alberta and then it had to come across Manitoba and Saskatchewan and Ontario to get to Quebec. 
So, yeah, supposed to be here by the 20th. At that rate, it'll be here earlier, but I don't know. Anyway, I'll be excited. Woo! People ask, where do you get your protein? Well, the plants have protein. That's where the animals get the protein, by eating the plants. Look at all the protein in those vegetables. And I eat a variety every day, every day. Yes, and I don't take five medications anymore because of it. This is what I go by. I don't need anything over 600 calories a pound while I'm here at home. And... The lower calorie density, you can fill your belly. This is a good one. Yep. Hello. Plants have protein. Okay, Don't it's forget. 25 after 4. Richard just called and they asked him to work. And I forget who It's going to be this. at least 2 or 3 hours, maybe until true. 12 o'clock. So I'm going to get my supper. A -C -Y. I'm going to wash up some dishes first. Here I am getting here. my supper ready here. Lots of whole starch and lots of non starch yeast, and that was my dessert tonight. Oh my. Some days it seems like it's eight o'clock and he's still not arms home. Sir, dishes are way Energy easier to do when there's, there's no just... meat or fats. I don't know how to explain it. I used to get that years ago, and at the environmental health clinic in Fall River, Halifax. I think it took me two years to get there. And uh, when I explained that my arms, like, sometimes it was so bad it was an effort to get to the, the fork to my mouth. And it was like driving. This I is what it's called now. My arm and driving with one and then dropping the other one. I didn't drive very far. Anyway, and they offered me uh, magnesium IV. So. But I am taking on magnesium. I don't know how many I can take. Uh, the pharmacists seem to think that... Uh, I don't know now if it was four a day or three a day. Four, I think. Seemed to think that was too much. So... I can't go to that clinic anymore because, like I said in another video, they let scented people in there now. The yeah, doctor there people. told me I would know I had too much if I so had that lets to me out. run to the bathroom. Well water. I just With fill it up in the bottle. And I never ever I gotta have to get my food out of the fridge here. Probably going to be the same as lunch time. <laughs> Probably. Oh, I only got one Swiss chard uh, thawed up. Or get a few bags of these tomorrow or whenever we go. Yeah. 
Okay, so now I gotta get my glove on here. Gotta take this big ring off. It's a little muggy, so my hand is uh, a little wet. I'm gonna have a couple pieces of. Oh, that was easy. Haha. <laughs> couple pieces of sweet potato. That's how I peel. Put that in there and I'll have three of those. I don't think that's a pound. But. <laughs> I'll put all those. And I just got, uh, Two pieces of sweet potatoes left over here for tomorrow. I'll, I'll cook up another big thing full of white potatoes. I got a whole pot full for uh, peeled. Whew! Pot is 27 outside, but. All right, I'm just gonna cut one of the white potatoes here and let you see. I did it lunchtime, so that video is going up right now. Now, uh, this is just so soft, it's like mushy, the sweet potato, but that's all right. Makes it like eating dessert every meal. Okay, I got this now. I'm gonna chop, chop, chop. It's broccoli, sweet onion, mushrooms. So, yeah, it's like I'm getting heat exhaustion in here now. Like. I almost feel like I'm going to faint. Ah. Okay, so. Oh, my goodness. Whew. Okay, I gotta get this in the microwave. Five minutes, four minutes. Oh. Whew. I don't like this feeling. I get that when I'm outside in the sun and heat. Maybe there's a, some kind of a smell in here besides the food because it's just like it's going from my shoulders down. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Oh. 
sometimes when there's a smell that I can't smell, but whatever it is is still in here. I'll get pain in my shoulder. Usually it's just one shoulder though. It goes from my neck down. This is across my shoulders and down. Whew. I don't know. Can sleep deprivation cause something like that? I am not used to having the smell of the onions and stuff in here. Uh, I don't know. I'm just... I'm going to put some more salt. Himalayan salt, not regular table salt that they add additives to, sugar and who knows what all. I gotta go sit down where I'm, if I fall I'm already on the sofa, no cats, yay. I got windows open and I don't know which way is the wind coming. It might be bringing something in the windows. I don't know. That I can't even smell. Uh, it's a horrible way to live, people. Uh, yeah. Because there's, uh, there's smells everywhere. <sighs> Just hold on a minute until I get this in there. Yeah. Oh, I can't close the windows, it's so hot. I don't know where's to go. Mushrooms are kind of a robbery. Here, Nick. Here's my mushrooms. White potato, sweet potato, mushrooms, broccoli. I should have put... Peas and corn and can't think. It's well I have to wait until the smell of this food's out of here. Cause this could make me react like that. Ah. 
I tried to plug my nose and eat before, but... I couldn't do it. I forget why. Because I can't breathe in through my nose. Yeah. You wouldn't be able to eat with your mouth closed. I don't know where Callie is. She must be out back. She spends a lot of time out there. I don't know if she's waiting for Richard or what she's waiting for, but... It is a bit cooler out there than it is in here. Mm. Somehow, I don't know how, but when I'm when I got a dish like this with the onions that's really smelly and I'm actually eating it and it's in my mouth, somehow I don't smell it anymore until after I finish chewing all my food. Mm. So. I was looking forward to taters and grapes in the parking lot. Oh wow. Probably be better on the scale on Sunday. <laughs> mm, the onions are so delicious. I Anybody that didn't see the video I got going up now for my lunch. Ow! Nerves jumping in my thumb and made my thumb. I clicked on the wrong thing. Yeah, it's up. This is just a short video of me and Richard in the early 80s. This one was probably 1985. I was crocheting there. And that was my darling cat. This is my friend and I. This is probably 2000. This is on vacation somewhere. Around the valley in Nova Scotia. <laughs> it was a bunch of my family. Mm -hmm. It was nice. It was nice. The first time, we went twice. The first time. This is just a short video of me. Quiet, Patricia. We, uh, I took my white van, my first white van. You guys didn't see that. I don't know where pictures of it are. Mm. Anyway, I there it is. It I back. found it. There's my first white van. I used to have and a bed in there. I used to sleep in there. This is 14 and years ago because he's we 14 slept. now. And then my nephew the next time we with went our Gilligan sat another on. year, we got a cabin, and it was it was so so. All right, it's. When you're close to some other people, there's wood smoke because people have camp uh, campfires going and smoking cigarettes and 
you know, if I try to be around with other people. I gotta be upwind from the fire. I gotta be upwind from everybody that's got bug dope on. I gotta be upwind from anybody that's smoking. I have to take all my own, strip the bed and take all those stinky, smelly laundry products off of the bed and put my own sheets and pillows on it. Then when we go home, my sheets and pillow and everything it smells like that anyway because air fresheners in the room. They're, they're very toxic to me, at least. Um, the smell just gets into everything, same as if it's in a car. You can't be a fragrance-free person and then jump in a car with an air freshener and expect to come out that fragrance-free. No. Richard went uptown to the town market and got himself a sandwich or something to eat. Because they asked him to work late. If he asks to work late, they don't pay him overtime. But if they ask him, they give him overtime. <laughs> Well, Nine I guess I'll and he's still not home. Do something here and uh, eat. I seem to be feeling better so far since I sat down. I don't know if you guys Took can tell or not. Took me long enough to feel that. There's a big mushroom, Nick. Probably, but delicious. Trying to get the last bite. I'm going to eat these. Frozen grapes and a banana. Yeah, just because some days it seems like I have to eat more. Well, why are you running? <laughs> so, I'm just peeling this banana. You can't see what I'm doing, so. Oh. Really ripe bananas. Oh, they're terrible too, smell wise. Everything is. Not grapes, no. Not grapes and blueberries, unless they're sitting there for quite a while. Like a few hours, the smell will get to me. There, I got the banana and the grapes and this. Yeah, a great big order of taters when it did it. I'll eat the banana first to get the smell out from under my nose. Mm. 
You don't like banana, remember? <laughs> she made that face again. <laughs> Do you want some? <laughs> Too funny. <laughs> Mom's girl. <laughs> this is very ripe. I can mash it with my tongue. I put one sweet potato and, I don't know, seven or eight or something, white potatoes in the back of it. Just in case we I eat lunch here. We usually go earlier and have lunch and then come back and then he's got the rest of the day to do whatever he wants to do. When I was help splitting wood. Oh yeah. Yeah. We'd eat lunch here and then we'd work and then we'd take off at four o'clock or something and go and eat up town. She's right up against my fort now. As if it's not hot enough. Good girl. She is a good girl. We got 447 subscribers. Yeah. They'll take some, though. They always take them away. Yep. I'm starting, I'm gonna start to eat my frozen grapes. Mmm. Hold on my teeth back. Skins are tough to chew. I got these teeth in 2007. I haven't been able to chew right since. <laughs> Whoops. I just ate the last grape. Still chewing on the skin of it. They're tough. It's kind of tough. No, I feel better than I did. I don't feel like painting anymore. So. Kelly and Missy are asleep. I think I'm going to lay my head down and see if I fall asleep. It's, it's almost 6 o'clock, but better than falling asleep at 8 o'clock and then waking up in 5 minutes time. And Anyway. The only thing that didn't heal on me was my insomnia. A lot of people it did, but I don't know. 
I'm pretty sure that it's the hot flashes that wakes me up. But, yeah, I still have hot flashes. I had menopause at 38. Finished it. But, the hot flashes continue. I'll just get settled down, get covered up comfy, and then one comes and I have to flip the quilts off. Yeah, if I go to sleep for five minutes and then I'm awake, I wake jolt right back up, like, and then I can't. There's no good to try to lay there and try to squeeze your eyelids shut like that because it feels like something's holding the mouth open. Mm. Anyway, I told that story too, but there might be new people. My own well water. A lot of people have fancy cups, but I use an old big eight bottle. <laughs> oh, you won't believe people. Friends. I have one special friend that... Con ...comments a lot. And I don't know if she wanted her name said or not, but she asked me if I had a P.O. box. She has some uh, earrings that she thinks that I would like. And she would like to send them to me. She says that I help her a lot and insp inspire her. She's already lost 120 pounds. I only lost 100. So, so that would be exciting. Yeah. <laughs> I do love my earrings, as everybody can tell. Every day I put a new pair on. Well, not new, but not usually the same ones every day. Well, I should finish editing this and get it up. No, I just want to lay down. I'll edit after. My goodness. Excuse me, I never burp. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Night, everyone. See you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Not real. Give us a diamonds, thumbs up. But Thank you, too. Just sparkly. Night, night. And blingy.